Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali, if you guys don't already know me. And today I'm going to be doing my July favorites for you guys. I don't have many favorites, but this time it will be a mix of fashion, beauty, even music. Let's get started. My first favorite is this Babyliss straightener. I used to have a straightener by this brand when I was in like sixth grade. And every time one of my friends used to use it, they would say it's better than any Chi or any mall straightener. And honestly, it's so true. This straightener makes my hair so shiny and stick straight like other straighteners would straighten my hair but like not to the point where it sticks straight. Next I bought these shoes off of Amazon and you guys probably don't even know that you can buy shoes on Amazon but they're actually really nice shoes. I bought some knockoff Birkenstocks and they lasted me a really long time but these are just knockoffs of the quilted band type shoes. So they're really easy to slip on and they match with so many outfits. Next is this one piece swimsuit. It is so gorgeous. It's by Kenneth Cole. I think that's how you say it. And Basically, it has a bandeau over here, and then it's kind of like see-through at your belly button. And then it has white material to cover your parts. <laughs> Lately, one pieces have been coming back in style, and I actually really like the trend. I personally think one pieces are sexy and modest at the same time. Well, it depends, like, if you're wearing a Speedo one rather than like a cutout one, you know? And it's perfect for the days when you have the biggest food baby in the world and just need something to hide it. These past few months, I've literally non-stop been using this color on my nails. Like once or twice, I would try to switch it up, but I would always come back to this one. This one's from Urban Outfitters and it is in the color Tusk and it is literally the most perfect nude, especially for people with skin tones like me. This was actually on sale, so it was like something like buy two nail polishes, get them for $8. I was kind of skeptical because like it was on sale and I was just like so cheap so I thought it was going to be like a bad nail polish but it's actually really good quality. Next up is this Morphe eyeshadow. It is in the color Bridesmaid and it is seriously the most beautiful muted purple kind of color. I've actually been using this one more than my saddle by MAC and that is like usually my go-to color but I can wear this without any lid color or anything, just this in the crease all over the lid and I'm good to go. I think in previous blog posts and videos, I've said that I really like Makeup Geek more than Morphe, but honestly, I'm kind of realizing that Morphe is just as good and it's cheaper. So if you guys are wanting to buy more single eyeshadows, then definitely look into Morphe because I am beginning to be obsessed. Next is the Pore Professional by Benefit. I used to use Maybelline's Pore Eraser one. I just think this one works so much better at hiding pores and literally I need all the help I can get with that. My next favorite of July has to be the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. This is my favorite in my collection right now, and I'm going to be honest with you, my collection is not that big, but this highlighter is amazing. It is so pigmented, and I use it every single day. I kind of stopped doing a nose highlight just because I don't really want to like accentuate my nose because I don't really like my nose that much, but I have been using this on the high points of my cheeks, and it is so beautiful. My last favorite of July is this liquid lipstick by Anastasia. It is in the color Ashton. I feel like I've mentioned this before in a lot of other videos. I might have even mentioned it in a favorites video, but I just want to mention it again because first of all, the color is amazing. I love it. It goes with my skin tone so nicely. It makes my blush pop and just brings the whole look together. And I really, really like the formula of this too. So if you want some love, so if you want some love, I know that I don't need some, I know that I don't need some. I know this was kind of short, I didn't really get the chance to try out that many new products, but I hope you guys really enjoy this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!